What's up traders, this is Mish from Apinicus Holdings and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to utilize indicators and moving averages that I personally use. So we're going to start right ahead with our scanner that we set up in our previous videos. If you haven't watched, be sure to check it out. It's on the channel. And uh, we'll go ahead and start off here going into studies and then edit studies and want to look for a simple moving average. So let's add that and then we want to toggle that by pressing the cog and let's add a change that to 200. All right, now we have a 200 day moving average and I'll explain how to utilize that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and add some more. We'll go with simple day moving average and let's add three more. So we have a total of four. Make this next one a 100 day. Change the color. And this one, we're gonna make a 50 day moving average. And this last one, make it a 20 or a 21 day moving average. So now this may look like a mess at first, but these are actually very useful studies. So you can pretty much assume that something is a bullish stock or have a bullish mindset towards something that is trading above the 100 or the 200 day moving average, or if it's under those, you can have a bearish sentiment and other traders use use this so it's a pretty reliable source and so another nifty thing to note about the moving averages since it is a price moving average of whatever days you selected uh, these get respected pretty well as far as price action goes so let's say if you were to enter here um, as a reversal on TDOC you could pretty much bet on the fact that price action will stall once we reach the 200 day moving average. So this could be used as a target um, for your price target or if you look on any other names, let's say Netflix, um, you can see each time it comes into um, all these moving averages it gets respected and see we caught a bid here and we've been trending up for the last um, about three months and it's been respecting the 20 day moving average each time it pulls back into it it's been catching the bid so that's pretty much it on moving averages um, these could be used as market sentiment whether to be bullish or bearish depending on where you are as far as the moving average and you can use these as targets or even entries in some certain scenarios um, but that also ties into key levels and volume and a whole bunch of other stuff. But you can always count to, on these as price targets or market sentiment. So moving on, I wanted to show you guys another indicator that I utilize. So let's go ahead and click on studies and edit studies. And I'll be showing you guys the volume profile. So let's add that. And let's go ahead and uncheck show value area. We want to have show point of control on expansion no. And uncheck this here VA high and VA low. We want to uncheck that. And the opacity, I like to set mine at about 15. So let's check that out. So what we have here is the volume profile. And the way you use this is pretty much just shows you the amount of volume done within each price point. So as you can see here, within from pretty much 480 to 520, you've done the most volume and the most trading for this daily chart. So you could use this on any time frame, but for the sake of this video, I'll be showing you guys this example on the daily. And pretty much in any given time frame, 
which this will this will be showing you the amount of volume done in any price point. So pretty much, as I said, you could use this for market sentiment too, or even trigger points for entry or targets. So let's say we've been consolidating near the point of control. Well, you could assume that the bigger players are pretty much getting ready to get this thing moving. So we could enter somewhere off the point of control and you know set a tight stop right below it. Now I'm not trying to teach strategies. That's just one way of utilizing it. Another way of utilizing it is say if you are trading like a reversal. So maybe you took it here, you could sell into the point of control. As you see it's kind of struggling here. And once we clear this our next target will be the 200 day moving average and based on the volume profile it will be 182, 183 and 190 as that's the points of price where the most volume was done. So you could pretty much use these as your price targets. One last thing before we move on, just want to save this, click on our grid and save and overwrite the previous one. All right, now moving on into the flexible grid here, I want to show you guys how to set up your intraday watch screen and other intraday indicators we could use there. So here you can pretty much um, go into click on these little cells and click customize grid. And from there you could customize this any way you want to. I'll just use the two charts like this and I'm going to link them together using this yellow and I'm going to add my style as we have done from previous videos just to make this chart a little bit nicer. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this customize and from here I will pick a one minute for just intraday action. Let's put a more fun name on here. All right. And here I'll put a 15 minute. So here, let's add right click and studies, edit studies, and let's search for VWAP. Add that and Let's uncheck the upper and lower band. So add that and let's add a simple moving averages, simple moving average for intraday as well. That's gonna be a nine, a nine moving average. And this pretty much just this nine is gonna multiply it by the amount of bars you have selected. So I have a one minute. So this is a nine minute moving average. Or let's say if I put a nine minute nine moving average here on the 15 minute, um, that's gonna be a 145 minute moving average. 135 minute moving average, sorry. So Let's go ahead and add those here as well. VWAP. And check those. And there we go. So pretty much the same concept here, guys. Um, VVOP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. So this is going to be an average of the price and volume mixed together. And once again, can be used for reading the market sentiment intraday. Um, if we are above VWAP, you can just pretty much be bullish. 
or if we're below, you could be bearish. And another thing is if the VWAP is moving up at a um, degree like this, then you know that whoever is trading this name is paying up for the stock. So therefore your market sentiment should be even more bullish on the name. Um, also with the nine moving average, it just gives you an average of where the stock is. Kind of same thing as the daily, if we're above, bullish, if we're below, get bearish. But it's not exact science, it's just for sentiment. Um, another thing I would like to add here is a level two and a time in sales. And I wanna adjust my time in sales here, click a cog, click customize, and let's add the bid and the ask. So now we have the time in sales and the level two. And that's pretty much how I trade my screen entry day. This is on one screen, then I have my um, active trader on another screen. And this is what I utilize in my day trading. So let's go ahead and save this one right here intraday screen and one last thing I wanted to show you guys is you could also set up a um, different type of grid which could be used for pretty much intraday watching or stalking a bunch of names so we could add a bunch of cells like this and you know have many names so we could have many charts like this and you could customize it any way you want um, as far as the time frame and um, the indicators and the style I showed you guys how to do all that and pretty much this will allow you to watch many names all at once and if you have multiple monitors you can just go ahead and detach this and pop this out and drag it over to your other monitor so that way you could utilize your thinkorswim to its full potential by having you know many charts that you're watching your um, intraday screen that we saved and maybe even a separate screen for the scanner and maybe another monitor utilized just for the active trader so that is a way that the professionals do it and I recommend you try a setup similar to this. So that would be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.